welcome back dear students now let us have the application of pythagoras theorem as i mentioned earlier pythagoras theorem was applicable to the right angle triangle but we can use pythagoras theorem for other two types of triangle that is the acute angle triangle as well as the obtuse angle triangle how we are going to use let us see now in triangle abc angle c is an acute angle and segment ad perpendicular to segment bc okay so this abc is a acute angle triangle at angle c okay then ad perpendicular drawn to bc so if suppose the triangle abc is a right angle triangle at angle c suppose huh? a triangle abc is a right angle at c then ab will be hypotenuse so ab square is equal to ac square plus bc square c here but this is not a right angle triangle so other part is added that is minus 2bc into dc 2bc into dc okay this is the additional part how we are going to see it let us check now you know that the side opposite to the angle are mentioned with the vertex so suppose the side opposite to angle c is ab which is mentioned by c okay opposite to b is b and opposite to a is a but here it is bifurcated now dc we have taken x so this will be a minus x let ad be equal to p this is all we have taken in consideration so ab is equal to c ac is equal to b bc is equal to a and ad is equal to p so dc is equal to x therefore bd is equal to a minus x this total is a if you want i can show you like this this is a hmm now in triangle a d b is it a right angle triangle correct it is a right angle triangle which is hypotenuse a b so here in triangle a d b by pythagoras theorem c square that is this one c square is equal to a minus x square plus p square so what you are going to write here p square is it right good now square of a a minus x so a minus x the a square minus 2ax plus x square and this p square as it is so this is equation number one now first we have used pythagoras again use pythagoras for this that is in triangle a d c by pythagoras theorem what you are going to get now again which is hypotenuse a c that is b square b square is equal to p square plus x square so here you are going to write p square plus x square correct so box it now this we want the value of p square so take this x square to the lhs so it is going to become therefore p square is equal to b square minus x square correct so equation number two this p square value we are going to substitute in equation number one so here c square is equal to a square minus 2ax plus x square plus p square is nothing but b square minus x square correct so now here minus x square plus x square will get cancelled so what is the remaining a square plus b square minus 2ax so this is c square but we are not interested in c a b and you know. what is c c represents what a b so a b square a is b c square b is a c square is minus 2a 2a means again b c into d c hence proof so this is nothing but we have used pythagoras theorem directly but not for the right angle triangle but for the acute angle triangle okay so if it is so you will get in a exam then a b square is equal to b c square plus 2 a c square minus 2 b c into d c then you have to draw this type of diagram and use pythagoras theorem twice and get the proof this type of proof may come for three marks in your exam or now if you see here four boxes are there may come for two marks as a activity also okay so if it is it will come in as activity then just solve it don't do extra work okay thank you welcome back now the second part first part we have seen the acute angle triangle there we have seen that ab square is equal to bc square plus ac square minus 2bc into cd now here obtuse angle triangle at angle c here this is angle c which is obtuse angle 
okay and then we have drawn a perpendicular ad to the bc extended okay this is called extended part okay so the side opposite to angle b is b opposite to c is c and opposite to a is a now let dc is equal to x so bd will be how much bd will be a plus x okay so that we have mentioned here segment ad perpendicular to segment bc ad is equal to p ab is equal to c bc is equal to a ac is equal to b dc is equal to x and bd is equal to a plus x i hope clear to you all now triangle adb right angle triangle correct so use pythagoras theorem what you are going to get by the pythagoras theorem again now this is hypotenuse this is one side and this is the second side so what you are going to write c square is equal to p square plus a plus x the whole square just like previous one but little bit modification okay now therefore c square is equal to p square as it is plus now square it out a square plus 2 ax plus x square correct this is just like a plus b the whole square a square plus 2 ab plus b square okay so suppose this is equation number 1 now in triangle adc okay so again you have to write in triangle adc what again this is right angle triangle and ac is the hypotenuse so what you are going to get b square is equal to p square plus x square now we are interested in p square so let us take it out so p square is equal to this x square you can take it to the lhs that will become b square minus x square okay so equation number 2 so this p square value we are going to substitute here so what you are going to get therefore c square is equal to b square minus x square plus a square plus 2 a x plus x square is it right so here plus x square minus x square will get cancelled therefore c square is equal to what you are going to get a square plus b square plus 2 a x okay now again what is c c stands for what that is ab so what you are going to get ab square so you are going to get ab square is equal to what is a a means bc so it is ab square is equal to bc square plus b b is what ac so it is ac square plus 2 again what is a that is a is bc so 2 bc into x x is what dc so right dc hence proof simple proof may come for in the form of activity or maybe in the form of proof for 3 marks so this is for obtuse angle so what is the difference between acute angle and obtuse angle only plus and minus okay this you have to remember very well because this acute angle and obtuse angle properties we are going to use for next theorem that is called as the apollonius theorem so let's go to see the apollonius theorem thank you